everybody and welcome back to some Naruto Ultimate Ninja and today people I wanted to talk about something now before we get into the something that I want to talk about let me just real quick I got some videos to show you um be right back magic don't you just love having powers oh, so cool so here's the first one that I wanted to show you guys uh, right here this was uh, I believe I was using Nagato. Now, someone, okay, someone told me that um, if you have Nagato you ha and you don't have his gates open or awaken, uh, you stun. Uh, right here, I have Nagato. I have his gates open all the way, like, to six, and he still stuns her. Now, it doesn't matter because I was going to win either way because I still have Tsunade, but the point that I was trying to make is that even with even with um, the 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 weapon, he is able to stun people. So the get it's not fixed right here. You can see that I'm clearly about to hit her, Bagom, and uh, the second time around, I stun her right here. And this is a stun. See, um, like I said, it wouldn't have mattered because I still had Sunide. He, he, he would have died either way. But it's just a point to say that they still have it in the game. It is still bugged welcome to life okay now like we're back um, I wanted to say one thing now the other video I'm going to show you will will go into it okay now what I wanted to say is that today we're gonna to be talking about number five and um, the ninja I have no I have nothing else to talk about in Naruto and I stopped this series for a little bit because I don't I don't really know where everyone is because I don't have enough time to level up every single person, every single possible match. There's not enough. There's not enough game modes in the game. There's not enough Ninja King. There's not enough anything to face to put everyone up against every single possible scenario that I can think of. So what what we're going to be doing is we're gonna say we're gonna be doing a series called Of Course, but Maybe. Okay, basically what this is, is I'm going to tell you, of course, of what I know the person is going to be in from the stats that I have gathered. But maybe would be the person that I think would be there if, if the way that their abilities work, work correctly, if that makes any sense. You know, like if they do everything they're supposed to and... It sounds as amazing. It, 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 it is as amazing as it sounds. Then that person would be in that place. So what we're gonna say is, of course, this person belongs here, but maybe. And that's what the series is gonna be called. So just pushing that aside. I already did everything I had to in the game um, today. I was just I, I thought of this and I was like, all right, well I'm gonna get into it because I have nothing else to show you because none of the games have have an event going on right now so we're we're I, it's either this or you know nothing <laughs> so so what we're gonna so right now i just want to say that the number fifth what well, the number five Nar, uh, naruto ninja is nagato now it shouldn't be a surprise of course nagato deserves a spot nagato is a heavy 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 damage dealer now, in most games like this, where you have um, when you have certain attackers that attack certain people, usually crit people kind of rule that area. So if you can do crit to people, you can do a lot of damage, and you're probably going to win that. Um, or heavy CC. So in this state right now, um, Nagato does both heavy crit, heavy, heavy crit, and... Um, a line attack which basically means he's going to rule most of it so we're just gonna read his abilities just so you guys know I mean you should already know so we're gonna go through this really quick so first skill of the fourth gate uh, deals 160% plus 1616 damage to a row steal 15% attack of the target oh this is a, um, awoken awaken but I mean it, it doesn't matter because we're, we're talking about the character as if they were fully awakened, have everything, you know, their entire gate. Okay. So, um, 
uh, of the target for one round. Reduce the target's 20% skill tr uh, trigger rate for two rounds. Increase your own skill trigger rate for two rounds. And 20% crit hit for three rounds. 15% chance to increase 150, uh, 150 crit hit damage of the, uh, of the attack. His ultimate, uh, Cho Chu, uh, I don't even know, Chibaku Tensei, Tensai, Tensei, the 6th gate, uh, Secret Jitsu is, uh, deals 350% plus 6060 damage to a row of enemies, steel targets 30% crit hit damage, 30% defense, 30% anti, uh, block rate, reduce its, uh, its 3350 chakra from the third round, ignore enemies block until the ending of the battle. And then his passive is the Renegon, the second gate passive skill. Increase 8% to all ninjas in the front in the in the own lineup in the third row. Wait, did it say it just says eight percent of what? Okay. And increase 30% crit hit and 40% attack to itself until the bat ending of the battle. 100% to use the first skill in the first round. At, well after the third round. So basically He's a lot of this, uh, of just destroying, like just a lot of line damage, a lot of heavy line damage, a lot of just destroying of a, 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 a of a people. Now, usually when you're facing people in Nar in Naruto, you usually have people that you know usually hit lines or they usually hit single targets. Now, single targets are more for bursting that person down really quickly. If you're like, okay, that person's probably gonna die if they get attacked by this person. And what usually when it comes to defenders, defenders you're actually you're either gonna soften them up for the rest of the team, or you're gonna straight out kill them. Now, he doesn't do great against defenders. He softens them up, more or less. And then when he attacks you in a, on a line, chances are back line is dead. Um, he'll soften up the first people, and then he'll straight out just kill back line. There's very few times when, uh, at least a high level Nagato, where you will survive the damage that he will be giving to your people in the back line. So chances are they're heavily, heavily killed. Pretty bad. So, for the most part, he does his job very well. He softens the, the front line because he's still stealing stuff from them and reducing their defense, which still helps the, the rest of your team kind of, you know, pick up slack and helps them kill people. Which, I mean, obviously, I mean, that's that's a given. But, he, Nagato, but Nagato's always good at just bursting people down. The only problem with Nagato, and the reason he isn't so high, is because he suffers from what I like to call first hit syndrome. Now, Nagato is very good, but he has a thing where if he doesn't kill you and the uh, if he doesn't kill you with his first hit, he then gives you your ultimate and then you ultimately kill him because your ultimate's so strong. So basically if I were to hit you in the game and uh, you didn't outright die. Let's say you were a Tsunade, I crit you, and you live with 2% health. You're about to own my own ass because you then would ult me and then straight out kill me. I don't have enough defense, anything, in order to win, which is the problem with Nagato. That's why he's not higher up on the, on the board because of the fact that he has this first hit syndrome and basically if he doesn't kill you then you die now at this point of like you know having a lot of at this point where nagato has a lot of damage there's very few times people live to it but there are times when people do live from it especially if you don't crit if you don't crit and the person lives the attack and you did enough damage for that person to have an attack then you're probably going to die that is why he is in that spot. But now, like we talked about the person that is in number five, what we're gonna say is, but maybe. So, of course, of course, that Nagato is going to be, is gonna be number five. But maybe, from what I've been seeing, Kaguya could be number five. Now, Kaguya 
is a tricky one because again I haven't seen a lot of study but I have seen been seeing a lot of battles with her. Now I'm going to read her skills just so you would understand them first and I'll explain why I think she would be 5th place. So 80 Gods Vacuum Fist deals 166.9% plus 2,100 points of damage to a whole and to a whole line of enemy while reducing the enemy's chakra by 50% and rendering uh, and rendering yourself immune to control for one turn. Great uh, Calamity God inflicts 410 per, uh, 410 point uh, seven percent plus three thousand three hundred and sixty points of damage to a single and to a single random enemy unit in the rear row there is a 30 percent actually before i go that let me actually go to her gates because we're going to talk about her with her full gates open so i want to talk about her full gates open so okay so let's go back to let's just go to her passive skill her passive skill it says increase our own defense by 31.9 percent in battle increasing attack of our front row by 15 percent and defense of the rear row by 15 percent increase your own crit resist by 10 percent and control immunity by 10 percent each damage you take will additionally grant you 5% uh, 5, uh, 5% defense and 5% attack and can be stacked up to 6 times and I don't think it has a cap I think it just keeps stacking so Ultra 80 Gods Vacuum Fist it deals 186.9% uh, 2,100 points of damage to a row of enemies, reducing enemy chakra by 65%, also increasing your own chakra by 20%, reducing reducing damage bonus of the enemy by 20%, uh, and becomes uh, immune to control for one turn. Deals 440.7%. 3,360 points of damage. Uh, to uh, to a random en uh, single enemy in the rear row, there is a 95% chance to trigger your own revenge effect by two turns, increasing your own damage resist by 20% and reducing enemies' damage resist by 20 by 15% at the same time. Last for two turns, each 1% of your of you uh, of of you wait each 1% you lost additionally increase your own attack by 0.25% for two turns. After two turns, each 1% of lost additionally uh, lost addition additionally increases your own attack by 3%. Now, let me talk about this. Now, in a lot of cases, right? Conan lives from most of the damage in the game. Now, Kaguya has the same exact passive as Conan. The, pro the problem that stems from Conan is that she doesn't get as much damage as Kaguya does. Kaguya has the ability to one-shot somebody because her ultimate in the A-Gate form does 440 0.7% damage to a person in the back row. Now, typically back row people obviously have low health. She has the ability to not only tank as much damage as Conan, but ult as much damage as Con as, as but ult as much as Conan does also because she's going to be taking the same amount of damage or close to it. Now, I'm not for sure sure what her revenge effect is cuz I've never seen it. But from using her, I've been able to gather that she can definitely one shot you. Her ultimate that I've been seeing does a million and six hundred thousand damage. That's just the way she is right now. Now she's only a four star, she's not even a six star, where she gets damage bonus on her five star. Six star, she gets damage reduction. But let me show you a little magic. God, it's so cool having magic. Powers, it's so cool. You guys should have some. Let me show you guys. So this is the battle that I did last night. She's 520, uh, 528,000, and she beat all three of the people by herself. Now, I was expecting her to beat maybe two, but beating all three of them is remarkable because look at how fast she just gets her ultimate and one shot. That's a million what a million six hundred ninety five thousand damage pretty crazy 
So, as you can see, she continues getting low, like, tankier and tankier, just like Conan. So, look at her right now. So, look at her damage now. She then ults him and does a million seven hundred. So, her damage actually went up. She ults, she gets ulted by him. Her defense goes down. But she also gains uh, gains defense, which kind of evens it out a little bit, and then it hits him with the 80 God Vacuum Fist, which lowers his chakra so he couldn't ult, and then hits him with the ult, and then she kills him again. Now, this she's only a purple right now, and again, she's only a 6 star. So, having that much damage on a tank is insanity, because then she's going to practically one-shot your backline. Now, you already have enough damage coming towards your back line because of your row attackers that are going to be doing back line damage. But the quicker your back line dies, the quicker you lose. Like, your front line's never going to do enough damage to make it so that your back line, I mean, your front damage, your front liners are never going to do enough damage to kill an opponent's back line. They will weaken them and they will soften them up. There are rare occasions where they will kill them, but you'd have to get, like, you'd have to have a high-end, like, I don't know, like Hitachi Susano with his, like, with his entire gates open, or, um, like, Conan's probably not gonna do it. Like, maybe soften them up, not really one-shot them. Like, it's it's pretty tough to, to say, you know, like, a defender can kill an attacker in the back row. Especially since most defenders do, don't have uh, attacks to attack people in the back. It's usually like kind of random chance or, you know, one person or, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, um, uh, Kisame has a, a row attack. Uh, Itachi Sana has a row attack. Um, people like uh, 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 Raikage has only a single attack. So there's very few people that can do it and if you have them you're probably okay but you're still not taking out the main threat which would be Kaguya one-shotting your back line now in the event that your whole back line dies she's then going to be ulting your front line which that's still an insane amount of damage and after three rounds she then starts gaining more damage because then it's a three percent additional so let me gauge this to you okay now, I don't know exactly how much damage you lost, but let's say it's past three rounds, okay? Now, typically, Tsunade would ult Conan for about 40% of her health, depending on the Conan that you're facing. So, let's say Kaguya lost 40% of her health in the third round, okay? When her ability kicks in, which is possible. Now, if she lost it in that... In that time frame okay for every one percent you're missing you gain three percent attack so you lost 40 percent of your health so you would do 40 times three because that's how that's how much you're gaining so basically in that other the, the next attack you're going to be doing you're going to be doing 120 percent extra damage to someone in the back which typically means that if you're doing 440 and then you add uh, 120 which makes it 560 you're gonna be hitting somewhere around 560 percent damage to someone in the back bro I'm not even sure if anyone in the game can survive that type of damage even if you were a red rank Kaguya you probably get one shot now Kaguya herself I don't want to talk about getting her shards because this series isn't for getting their shards it's more of hey I have her maxed out how would she do against others so that's why I did it like this and basically if you're maxed out and everything and you have all her weapons and everything you're gonna be one shotting them so I mean good luck and she starts the battle with 875 points of chakra and the chakra will cover uh, extra and, and then a, a chakra will cover an extra 104 points when you got I'm guessing hurt so 
basically you need a thousand to alt you start off with 875 points you gain this which means you're basically 900 what 979 points of chakra which means you only need 30 in order to alt which unless you reduce her chakra in the first turn somebody's getting ulted first turn that's why I believe it. Now, again, I don't know because I haven't used her, but she's been performing very well for herself. She's been outperforming other people and she's been practically one-shotting them. And I don't even have her to, I've only got her purple, what, three? I've only got her purple three, oh, uh, purple four. And I mean, she's only 537,000. Now, imagine her being Conan's damage or rank and then surviving everything as much as Conan does and then it's just a nightmare it's it's a nightmare and right now Conan doesn't even have a weapon still so you know there's that a uh, Kaguya will eventually get a, probably a ninja tool so but I mean it's looking good but yeah people I hope you enjoyed it though uh, that's what I believe of course, like I said, of course Nagato's number five, but maybe it could be Kaguya. So I'm going to be doing more series like this. I, like I said, people, I just don't have enough time, just don't have enough time to be sitting here and putting every possible matchup against every possible matchup and hoping that people go with this here and, and this one and just to make it so that I can figure out where everyone belongs because you'll never get videos. So that's what I believe, but I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a comment if you feel differently, if you want me to uh, uh, review another person, but I'm going to be trying to go down the line and just, you know, do what I can. Uh, also, as you can see, my power jumped up a lot. Uh, I told you guys, of course, it was index. I mean, that was like giving Abukashi everything. Uh, I managed to pass him in the index, and now I'm above him by a lot. Um, it was it, it was simple I mean I could have told you guys that I mean it's it's it was pretty simple like it was it was just a it was just a index so yeah people oh one more thing uh, I am very close to getting the eight gates um, I just want to show you real quick I actually did everyone's I actually got um Jiraiya to his as you can see Bam. Uh, I already showed you Sunaides. She's already done. And the last one is Ochimaru. And all I have to do is make him orange plus one. And as soon as he gets orange plus one, I'll be able to uh, unlock the potential 18s. And hopefully I'll be able to do those on camera to show you what, what you got to do to unlock them. So yeah, people. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Uh, please continue to give me thumbs up, subs uh, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.